Hi, my name is Nora Afrika Binti Manslan and my project title is Autonomous Shopping Cart. Project Background In the world of human interact with technologies, it has given the idea of using technology that has developed over the time to solve problems. The Autonomous Shopping Cart is a modified shopping cart that accompanies customers during shopping. The, cost, the shopping cart is improvised to solve the problem and for this project, a mobile robot that act as a prototype will be used to demonstrate on how the shopping carts follow the user. There are two main problem statements. The first one is the customer left their shopping cart. This action caused them to forget the last place of their shopping cart located. Second one is the traditional shopping cart. The shopping cart unable to move without physical forces. So for this project, we want to make the shopping carts able to move automatically. Next is the project objective. There are four project objectives. The first one is to develop an autonomous shopping cart that is able to track user via camera. Next is to develop an autonomous shopping cart that is able to recognize its pattern, which is a shape with unique color. Next is to develop an autonomous shopping cart that is able to track the shopping cart at certain distance. And the last one is to develop an autonomous shopping cart that is able to scan the QR code. Next, we're moving on to the module diagram. There are five modules for this project. The first one is the mobile robot. The mobile robot consists of the movement of the mobile robot. The second one is the camera and the video or the video cameras where you're able to detect the object and as well as able to track the object. Third module is ultrasonic sensor where it's able to measure distance between the pattern and also the mobile robot. Second last is the QR code where it's able to process the QR code. And the last one is the Bluetooth speaker where it's able to connect via Bluetooth connection as well as able to output the sound. This is an architecture diagram for this autonomous shopping cart project. So when the pattern is being uh, used by the user, uh, the autonomous shopping cart or for this project which I'm um, using mobile robot uh, named as Alphabot 2 with Raspberry Pi will be able to detect and tracking the pattern and follow the pattern. Next is uh, when using the QR code, um, the QR code will be uh, captured by the webcam and will be processed by the Raspberry Pi to detect uh, the availability of the QR code. Once it's available, it will be uh, output uh, the price and also the name of the, the name of the items via um, by Bluetooth speaker, and the Bluetooth speaker will be connected with the Raspberry Pi using Bluetooth connection and for us trust on sensor it actually will be uh, measure the distance between the pattern and also the autonomous shopping cart for stopping at certain distance. The impact and the benefits of this project is it's able to reduce the number of customers who actually misplace the shopping cart. It's also able to ease the use due to the autonomy of the shopping cart. Next, it's able to lower the time taken to search the user's lost shopping cart. And it's able to lessen the amount of time of physical connection between the consumer and the shopping cart. So we're moving on to the demonstration part. Uh, now I would like to show how the project works. First thing first, I will explain how the patterns actually being detected and also being tracked by via cameras. First thing first, you actually have to convert the round shape pattern with red colors into HSV form. Next is we actually need to determine the desired lower boundary and upper boundary color for the color in HSV space. For this project, I'm using the red color, so I have to determine the lower boundary and upper boundary of the red colors. After that, we have to do some mask. Mask is to get our desired area, which is the round shape with red color pattern. 
Okay, so we have to do some denoise by morphological transformation. There are two types, which is erosion and dilations. So for the for getting the desired object area, is we want to actually uh, re diminish unwanted noises around our desired area, and once we do that, it causes the wanted area to be shrinking. Then this where the dilations comes to play its part where it actually will be increased back the object area that we wanted and then we get our desired mask which is the round shape and the red color okay now we're moving on to the videos uh, this is to show that um, the cameras only detected the patterns with red color as you can see the green color is not detected by the cameras as well as this yellow color the mask is not showing but when it comes to red the mask is being detected by the cameras next is to show how the pattern tracking is being doing by the alphabet when the yellow color is displayed in front of the cameras it will not tracking the pattern same goes to the green it doesn't move towards the patterns but once it comes to the red color the robot will able to move forward Next is distance measured by the alphabet using ultrasonic sensor. The robot able to stop at certain distance when the pattern is near, which is uh, around the range of 14 cm. And this is also to show that the alphabet able to measure the system manually to sh and also to show that the electronic sensor able to perform able to be used without any problem to measure the distance next is the movement of the autonom the movement of the mobile robot which is the mobile robot able to move forward autonomously it able to follow the patterns forward next is to show that uh, the mobile robot able to move left right and forward it will move to the left as well as to the right next is to show that how the scanning QR code works so this video to show that the QR code able to be displayed and the sound is being output once the QR code has been displayed in front of the cameras so when the items are not available in the supermarket it actually will be it will be saying product unavailable So Rules QR code has been used to test. So this is actually to show how the scanning QR codes happens in the Raspberry Pi. So when it's displayed in front of the webcam, 
here we can see that the data of the QR code is being displayed where it will be matched with the codes to determine whether the data is actually available for scanning if it's available it will be output the sound of the price item as well as the name of the items next is actually uh, scanning the QR code when the QR code is actually random for example the QR code data is hello nice to meet you so as we can see from the previous video it actually will be uh, the sound will be output saying that the product is unavailable so it means that the data does not match with um, the data of for scanning the QR codes that's all for my project thank you